Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Apologies for me sounding a little bit muffled and snuffled. I'm not feeling 100%. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm just not feeling very well. But nonetheless, we're going to try and uh, carry on with today's episode. And uh, as you may have been able to tell by the video title, uh, this is a video about a Snooper dash cam. Snooper were very kind enough to uh, to send me a dash cam out in the post. It's called the Snooper DVR WF1. It's uh, it's a very small sort of dash cam. As uh, well, it's about normal size really. And um, I'm going to be reviewing it and giving you my 100% honest opinion. Now, let me just tell you right now off the bat. Yes, Snooper have sent me this product for free. Yes, I believe I can get to keep it. That does not mean I'm going to be giving it a nice review on purpose. I will be reviewing this product properly and I will be giving you my 100% honest opinion on it. So, here goes. Okay, so this is what you get in the box. Uh, I've already taken it all out. The box is actually at home, so I haven't got it to show you. Uh, but this is the product itself. So it's a Snooper W, what is the DVR WF1. This is the uh, device itself. So on it, you have... Uh, a button there and also an SD card slot the camera port is there and on the other side you've got a mini USB socket and also a GPS uh, 3. Point, I think well, I think it's 3.5mm socket uh, which we'll get to in a second uh, and also you have a sticky pad on the back note how there is no suction cup which is my first disappointment when I opened up this product the, the mere fact that there is not a, a suction cup uh, disappoints me quite severely because I'd like to you know move around my dash cam sometimes uh, if I swap vehicles then obviously I need to um, take the dash cam out and put it in the other vehicle so not ideal for someone who's going to be regularly changing vehicles that's for sure you get a sticky pad and, and once you put it on on your window for example over there uh, once you take it off you're going to lose stickiness and um, yeah that's not ideal to be perfectly honest with you so that's my first letdown uh, but you get this little receiver here which uh, hang on, let me just take all this out okay that's better so we've got this uh, which looks like a receiver like a like an IR box but actually what you do by the sounds of it I haven't actually used it yet but you plug that in to the uh, side of this here it's the GPS tracker so again uh, a bit annoying that you've got to have a separate accessory in order to track your GPS location a lot of dash cams have them built in so um, yeah that's not great either uh, <laughs> and then this here is obviously the charger so that obviously plugs into the cigarette lighter and then you've got the mini USB port there which plugs into that and then this cable enables you to plug it into your laptop or desktop at home and uh, so you haven't got to keep moving around that cable so that is literally everything which is inside the box um, but yeah a bit annoying that you've got to use that so if we move back to the device itself to turn it on you press and hold this button here and if you listen carefully you might be able to hear it turn on note how the blue light is on when it's flashing like it is right now it's recording press it again and it's a solid blue light that means it isn't recording but it's on which is great it's good to know um, whether it's actually recording or not because there isn't an LCD screen on here uh, however uh, you uh, might not be able to tell exactly but obviously you've got to have it the right way up so that's the way the snooper symbol is so on my dash I've got to have it like that that way round and you can't see the blue light when it's on the window that way round so A there's no LCD screen and B you can't visually tell that it's actually recording so uh, that's not ideal there is something about this dash cam though which I haven't touched upon yet and that's the fact that it connects uh, via Wi-Fi to your mobile phone and you can actually view what the dash cam is viewing on your mobile phone. Okay, so I'm hoping you can see my phone quite clearly. So we're connecting to the device now. This is what it comes up as on the Wi-Fi. And then what we need to do is go to the app which is called Snooper DVR. You can find it on the App Store. And there we are. That's me right now. So this is the, the Snooper. Uh, camera and um, I'm using my phone as well so I've <laughs> basically got three separate displays on at the moment but um, yeah so this is the snooper device itself it does have a very wide angle I must admit um, so for example that's literally the whole of the windscreen there that you can see in one in one camera uh, angle 
So um, it's pretty cool that you can use the phone, but you can't use your phone while you're driving. So that kind of, you know, it's, it, it does, doesn't make sense. You know, you're not allowed to use your phone while you're driving. So why would you use your phone to look at your camera while it's in your car? But, I mean, the app itself is pretty cool. Because there's, there's no LCD display on the dash cam, you can change all the settings on the app. So you can change your video loop length, your resolution, uh, resolution sorry. Uh, you've got all sorts on here that you can all do. You can uh, edit your, uh, sorry, format your SD card. And once you've actually recorded stuff, you can select it and uh, and view it. So you can download it straight onto the phone, or you can just open it up. I've got no idea what this is. Ah, so that's just something I just recorded. Uh, oh, the app has just decided to crash and uh, close down. So um, that wasn't ideal. It just completely went to the home screen then for no reason. But yeah, so it's it's a bit of a dodgy one because, like I said, you can't really use your phone while you're actually driving. You know, by legally, you're not allowed to use your phone while driving. So you can't amend any of the settings on your dash cam while you're driving which you can't do anyway, but more importantly, you can't actually see if it's recording um, while you're driving. You can't have a quick glance and just have a look to see if it's recording, because the light's on the opposite side. And it's going to be the same for any other vehicle, as far as I can tell, because that logo needs to be the right way around. And, yeah, so that's, that's less than ideal, in my opinion. Um, I will be including some actual dash cam footage though, because obviously we all want to see what the dash cam footage looks like. So I will be putting it onto the windscreen, and you are about to see what the footage itself looks like. And I will also compare it to my existing dash cam, which is an X-Base 402G, which I use in my vlogs. So um, out of the box, it doesn't look impressive, in my opinion. Um, but we will see what it looks like when it's actually up on the screen. Right, so one thing to note is that I've just taken off the sticky pad. There's the sticky pad thing there. And uh, it is sticky, you know, to the touch it is sticky. But I just put it on the windscreen, and I'm pushing quite hard, look. <laughs> it's just, it isn't staying up. It's just falling. The weight of the device, I mean, it's a light device, but it's just too heavy for the sticky pad that's included. So the only thing I'm going to be able to do is put it right on the bottom... Hopefully that's just going to have to stay in place there. It's like literally resting on the bottom though. But yeah, great start. So I've been using the snooper device now for a few days and I'm I'm slowly coming around to it. It's not a bad device, like I was slating it quite a lot to begin with, but it's it's not too bad. It does have its drawbacks. Um for me anyway, like for example I'm now in a different truck. I'm not in the same truck I was in, and uh uh one thing to note is that the sticky pad, this actually sort of slid onto the sticky pad, so you can take it on and off very easily, which is a good thing. But the sticky pad is still on my old truck um, because I knew if I take it off, it's going to lose stickiness. So um, I kind of can't use it now because I haven't got the mount to stick it onto. I will try and take the sticky mount off my other truck. I did try taking it off with my hand, but I couldn't couldn't get it off because um, it was actually on really, really well. Um, 
after a day or so of just sitting there, it stuck very well. I know, like in the footage, I slowed it, uh, showed it sliding down, which it was. But um, I think perhaps what you should, what I should have done is taken this off first and then put the sticky thing on by itself, let it stick, and then put this device on because it did stick really well. And it, like I said, it's still on the truck now. I can't get it off with my bare fingers. I need to try and get a screwdriver and sort of prise it off. But um, I mean. <laughs> The quality of the audio, I wouldn't say was very good, but the quality of the video is, and I especially like the wide angle viewing on it. Like I said, it's got a tremendous wide angle lens. That's amazing. And um, yeah, it's. It, I like the fact you can use your phone to, to change the settings, but I don't like the fact that there's no visual cue on the device itself that it's recording. I mean, well, there is, but not that you can see from your driver position. The only way, only way you'd be able to see it is if you had the dash cam set up on the right hand side of your vehicle so you can just sort of have a quick look uh, maybe if you're in a car you can have a quick look but then again you're, you're kind of taking your eyes off the road so I think it can be better um, and I think the price tag of I think it was £120 I will uh, correct that if I'm wrong um, I think it's quite a lot of money for what you're getting to be honest I think so I mean not a bad looking camera I like the fact it's on a swivel mount that you can sort of turn it and swivel it in at any angle you like I do like that the mount was was in the end it was strong um, but it's not ideal for changing vehicles all the time you need to sort of have it in a fixed place all the time on one single vehicle and uh, one thing to note is also that it probably would stick better on plastic i.e at the back of a rear view mirror um, but yeah, I mean overall not bad, but could be better. That's my review. Hopefully um, you appreciate the honesty. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.